Hello mga kawamat. In this video lesson, we will discuss problem solving involving ellipse. For problem number one, the arc of a bridge is in the shape of semi-ellipse with its major axis at the water level. Suppose the arc of 22 feet high in the middle and 100 feet across its major axis, how high above the water level is the arc at a point 30 feet from the center horizontally. Round off to two decimal places. So first, so i-picture out muna natin yung itsura ng arc ng bridge. So kagaya nito. So ito daw yung arc ng, ito yung sample. No? Se, uh, Semi-ellipse, arc of a bridge. Na kung saan yung height daw at the middle from the center is 22 feet. And then, yung 100 feet na to, that is the uh, major axis ng uh, ellipse natin. Since ang nakalagay dito, yung major axis natin is the water, at the water level. So, nandito yung major axis natin. Okay, so nandito. So, since that is 100, so ibig sabihin, from the center, papunta dun sa end point, nitong major axis natin is 50 feet. Tig 50 feet sila. So, kumbaga, nandito yung vertex natin. Okay, yung dulo nito, yung uh, isang end, yung dulo nito, that is the vertex. Ganyan din dito, kapag linap natin. Para mas madali sa atin, isold, kung aling uh, yung tinatanong kasi yung height. Okay, yung height ng water level of the arc. Okay, so yung height ng arc ng bridge from 30 feet mula dun sa center. So, titingnan natin. So, para mas madali sa atin, so, tingnan natin using the graph. So, let's say this one. So, mula sa center, papunta dito. So, ito yung 30 natin. And then, ito yung titingnan natin. Okay? So, ito yung hinahanap na height. Okay. So, mula dyan, since yung center natin ay nasa origin, so, ito yung gagamitin nating standard equation ng ellipse. So, ang gagawin lang natin, is substitute lang natin yung value ng A at B. So, para saan ba kinukuha yung value ng A? So, ano ulit yung function ng A at B natin? So, yung A, yan yung distance mula sa center, papunta sa vertex. Okay, so, nandito yung vertex natin, mula sa center, papunta sa vertex. So, that is 50. And then yung B naman, so kumbaga ito yung vertex natin, ito yung co-vertex natin. So yung B naman, ito yun, 20 to feet. So isa-substitute lang natin yung mga value na yan. So X squared over 50 squared plus Y squared over 22 squared is equal to 1. Ngayon, since hinahanap yung height na to, so yung coordinate natin is 30Y, so, isosolve natin yung value ng y para makuha natin yung height. So, isosubtitute natin yung value ng x-coordinate natin dito sa equation natin. So, magiging 30 squared. So, galing yung 30 dun sa uh, x-coordinate natin. So, 30 squared over 50 squared plus y squared over 22 squared is equal to 1. Okay, so solve for y. So, ilipat natin itong 30 squared over 50 squared sa right side ng equation natin. So, magiging y squared over 22 squared is equal to 1 minus 30 squared over 50 squared. Then, multiply both side ng equation natin. Imumultiply natin both side ng equation natin sa 22 squared. Okay, so 22 squared times y squared over 22 squared is equal to, so yung buong ito na sa right side, imumultiply natin kay 22 squared. So, maka-cancel na sa left side yung 22 squared. So, may iwan na lang yung y squared. And then, imumultiply natin yung 22 squared kay 1. So, that is 22 squared minus, then multiply natin yung 30 squared times 22 squared over 50 squared. So, gamit yung calculator nyo, or yung scientific calculator nyo, makukompute na na agad natin ito. So, that is 22 squared 
minus, so then fraction bar, 30 squared times 22 squared all over 50 squared. Okay, so then equals. So, ito lang yung pindutin natin para magdecimal yan. So, the value is 309.76. So, y squared is equal to 309.76. Eh, meron pa tayong squared dito. So, para mawala ito, squared natin both side ng equation natin. So, magiging y is equal to positive and negative square root of 309.76. So, kunin natin yung square root ng 309.76. Okay, so the answer is 17.6. So, y is equal to positive and negative 17.6. Since height yung pinag-uusapan dito, so wala naman tayong negative na value for height. So, yung kukunin lang natin yung positive value which is the positive 17.6. Ibig sabihin class, yung height mula dito papunta dyan, papunta sa point na to, that is 17.6 feet. Thus, the bridge is 17.6 17 feet above water when at a point 30 feet from the center. Okay, another problem. Suppose that the orbit of a planet is in the shape of an ellipse for which the distance between the vertices is 1,400 million kilometers and the distance between the foci is 800 million kilometers. Find an equation of the orbit. So let's say this is our illustration. No? So let's, kung ito yung vert text na isa at nandito yung isa. So, kung kukunin natin, sabi daw, that is 1,400 million kilometers. So, anong ibig sabihin nun? Kapag yung center natin, okay, nasa gitna, yung standard equation na gagamitin natin, of course, yung x squared over a squared plus y squared over b squared. So, anong ibig sabihin ng 1,400 million? So, sabi dito, vertex yan. No? Yung, yan yung mula dun sa isang endpoint ng vertex at dun sa kabilang endpoint ng is kabil, uh, another vertex is 1,400. Ibig sabihin, okay, so ganyan. No? So, kapag ni-name natin ito, mula kasi dito, so ito ay nasa negative 5,000 na. Uh, what is a uh, negative 500 rather so mula dyan papunta dito that is 1,400 million kilometers so ibig sabihin mula sa center papunta dito sa point na to 700 uh, million kilometers so ganun din sa kabila and then sabi uh, the distance between the foci is 800 million kilometers so Mula dito sa center natin, papunta doon, so 400 dyan. At mula dito, papunta dito, another 400. So that is 800 million kilometers. So ang given class is yung value ng A natin at ng C. Kasi yung, para makuha natin yung distance, mula sa center, papunta, uh, papunta sa focus natin, yun yung value ng C. So isulat muna natin. So ilabel natin, that is our V sub 1. And this is our V sub 2, F sub 1, at F sub 2. So, yung nawawala is yung value ng B para makuha natin yung equation ng orbit. Okay? So, again, kapag yung center ng ellipse ay nasa origin, ito yung gagamitin nating equation. X squared over A squared plus Y squared over B squared is equal to 1. And then, again, Yung given na A natin is 700. So, paano ulit natin nakuha yung 700? So, from the given, yung uh, distance daw between the vertices is 1,400. So, ibig sabihin, hahatiin natin yon mula sa center papunta dun sa isang endpoint that is 700. So, yun yung value ng A. 
And then, binigay yung distance ng foci natin, a uh, distance between the foci, that is 800. So, mula sa center, hahatiin rin natin yun, and that is 400. So, yung nawawala ngayon is yung value ng B. So, gamit yung Pythagorean theorem natin, so that A squared is equal to C squared plus B squared. So, isa-substitute lang natin. So, A squared is... That will become 700 squared is equal to yung C natin, 400. 400 squared plus B squared. So, pagsasamahin natin ito. So, B squared is equal to 700 squared minus 400 squared. And using our calculator, so, 700 squared minus 400 squared. Okay, so the answer is 330,000. E, eh, square root pa natin yan. No? Kukunin pa natin yung square root niyan. So, B is equal to, so, kunin natin yung square root ng answer natin. So, that is 574.46. So, the square root of 700 squared minus 400 squared is 574. Point forty six. So, balik tayo ngayon sa standard equation natin. Kasi ang tinatanong lang naman kung ano daw equation ng orbit. So, isa-substitute lang natin yung value ng A. Since nakuha na natin yung B, so makukuha na natin yung equation. So, the equation of the orbit is x squared over 700 squared plus y squared over 574.46 squared is equal to 1. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button para updated kayo for more video tutorial. This is your guide in learning your math lesson, your WOW Math channel.